everyone. Welcome to this Feel Good Hatha Yoga Flow. Let's boost our energy and find a little joy together. We're going to begin in mountain pose. Now you can have your feet together or slightly apart, even hip width apart, whatever's most comfortable for you. But standing up nice and straight, just really being aware of your posture. So your shoulders are down away from your ears. Your head is lifted like a, an imaginary string is lifting it up. And your tailbone's drawing down. Your arms are down by your sides. And we're just going to take a few breaths here. So we're just going to get some breath awareness. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose and just feel the breath going in and out. Okay, we're going to take some sun breaths now. So we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So we're going to inhale the hands up, up to the sun, bring the hands together and then exhale through the mouth. And again, inhale up, hands together, exhale. And again, inhale up, hands together and exhale. And bring your arms back down. Okay, we are going to do a side stretch now. So inhale your hands up. Clasp them above the head. So again, standing up nice and straight. Remember not to hold your breath. Take a big breath in now. And as you exhale, lean gently to the right. Without twisting your body, without holding your breath, listening to your body without strain, just leaning over as far as feels good to you. That's it. Keep breathing. And then slowly inhale back up. Big breath up and then exhale down the other side. It's a lovely side body stretch here. That's it. And then inhale up. So we're going to take those hands apart. We're going to do free the spirit. So we're going to bring the hands down in a big circle. We're going to lean the head back, stretching out the neck. We're going to bring those hands together, palms together at your heart, and then very gently lift and tuck that chin. So you're lifting the head and then rolling it in and tuck the chin. You'll feel a gentle stretch in the back of your neck. And then just coming back to neutral. And now we're going to do a standing cat cow. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. So feet hip width apart, bending and keeping your hands on your on your thighs or, or towards your knees, just there. You're keeping that back nice and straight. You're drawing that tail, a bit like chair pose, really, keeping that back straight. And don't let those arms bend. So keep the arms straight. And then we're going to exhale and round the back for chin. For chin. <laughs> Tuck the chin for cat pose. Keeping those arms straight. And then coming up for cow. Exhaling cat. So tucking that chin. And you can tuck that tailbone out. And then up for cow. So back and forth. That's it. It's a lovely one to do. Feels really good. Tuck that chin. And just keep going with your breath. Lovely energizer and wonderful for your back. Tuck your chin. Just keep going. Exhale. One more cow, lift up, tuck, tuck that head up and tuck that tailbone back and back to neutral and then stand up straight. Okay, we're going to do warrior one now with a twist. So we're going to take 
the right foot back. The left knee stays over the ankle. So, and that back foot is going to be at 45 degree angle. So just get the foot in position and then turn that foot out so that it's at a 45 degree angle because we want you to be facing the front. You want your hips to be facing the front for warrior one. And that knee stays over the ankle. So inhale up. So reaching up nice and tall and you're pressing back in that back foot. And remember not holding your breath. This is warrior one. So you can feel the energy flowing through your body. Keep breathing. And then bring your hands down to prayer. And we're going to place that right elbow on your left knee with a twist, like a prayer twist. So keep breathing. That's it. And then just coming back out, just inhale those hands back up. Bring them down and then step forward and we'll do the other side. So left foot back this side, this side, this time. <laughs> so this time. So just get your position right. So that right knee's over the ankle. The back foot is flat, but at 45 degrees and those hips are facing forward. You can feel it's great strengthener for your legs. Inhale those hands up. That's it. So make sure you've got a nice, nice firm base and that you're not holding your breath. That's it. Keep breathing. Lovely. And then bring those hands to prayer. And then left elbow on your right knee. Push those palms together. That's it. Keep breathing. Lovely. And slowly coming back to your warrior one. Inhale up. And release. Okay. We're going to do a peaceful or reverse warrior now. So back in, taking that right foot back this time. I'm going to get in. So first we'll get into warrior two. So that this time the back foot's facing forward. That right foot, left foot facing the front. And that one's parallel and stretch the arms for warrior two. So feel that lovely stretch here and here. Love warrior two. So big stretch and then we're going to do reverse, either called reverse or peaceful warrior. So big breath in and let that back hand slide down and the front hand come up. So keep breathing. Feel that stretch there and there, keeping the chest open and still smiling. <laughs> Remember, we're looking for joy here. <laughs> and back. Stretching the arms and lowering down so that I'm facing the same way. We're going to just turn, otherwise I'm going to have my back to you. No, I don't want that. Okay, so we're doing the other side. So this time, right knee over the ankle, back little toes pressing in the mat. Warrior two on this side. That's it. Okay, nice big breath in and reverse into peaceful warrior. Lovely. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. That's it. And back. Use the breath. Back to warrior two. Lower your hands. Walk the feet back together. We'll just come on into our mountain pose because we're going to stand up straight. We're going to get into our tree pose. So shift your weight onto your right leg. Don't lock the knee, but engage that, that thigh. Turn the left foot out and the left knee out. Now remember, you can keep the left toes on the floor if you wish. We're just opening up that hip. Gradually, you can lift it up and that foot can go anywhere along your inner thigh and your calf, but just make sure it's not against that, that knee joint, okay? So I like to tuck my foot up there. That's what works for me, whoops. And then the secret is to just focus on something that's not moving. Remember not to hold your breath and just enjoy the stillness. Keep breathing. Uh, 
And then slowly lower your hands, bring them together at your heart and release your foot. And in between, just relax your thighs because they're working hard. Okay, other side. So remember, if you wobble, it doesn't matter. Just, just practice, you'll get better. You know, no, we're not looking for perfection here. Progress is what we're looking for. Enjoy. Okay, so this time, engage the left thigh. Don't lock the knee. Right knee, foot out. Again, wherever is good for you. So you can just tuck it there and do it from there. You know, and then gradually as you feel more stable, you can move that foot up. So I'm going to tuck my foot up, as I say, because that's where I find it most comfortable. We're all different. And it's important to remember that we're all beautifully unique and we do what feels right for us. Okay. So again, slowly bring those hands down to your heart and release your foot. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to do a forward fold with ragdoll. I think I'll turn sideways for this as well. So feet hip width apart. So we're going to inhale up and then fold forward. And then as we come down, we're going to bend the knees and grab the elbows. Now you can keep a deep bend in those knees if you wish. Again, whatever feels good for you. Or you can straighten the legs slightly. If, you feel, if that feels good, that feels good for me. But if you want to stay with your knees bent, you can have as deep a bend in those as you like. Listen to your body. But you're just swaying from side to side. It's a wonderful stretch without too much effort. Lovely. Feels good. Okay, so release your hands and really bend your knees because we're going to come to a, a seated position. Well, actually, we're going to lie down first. We're going to do bridge and then we're going to do seated forward fold. So lying down with your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor, arms down by your side, so hip width apart. We're going to do our bridge pose. So nice big breath in. Squeeze the glutes and push, so lift those hips up as high as is comfortable for you. So really squeeze those glutes, keep breathing. Lovely. And lower down. And we're gonna do that one more time. So again, big breath in, push down, squeeze. and release. Okay, so straighten those legs and just use your elbows to gently lift yourself up. So we're just going to do a nice passive forward fold. We're going to come into staff pose first of all. So sit up on top of your sit bones. If you pull the flesh out from under your bottom, you feel that your, your sit bones make contact with the floor. So, And then you realise that once they make contact, you can it's that imaginary string again that lifts your head up so you've got a nice straight back. And just for a moment, just engage your thighs and just sit looking straight ahead with a very straight back. Don't hold your breath, but just hold that pose. Wonderful for your posture. And then when we do our forward fold, we're going to relax the legs and the feet. And we're going to inhale the hands up so the palms are facing each other. And we're just going to fold. We're going to hinge forward with a flat back reaching forward as far as feels good to you. Bring your forearms down, your palms facing up, and just keep letting that head come down, 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 as far as feels comfortable to you. And then when you're down as far as it can go, I want you to just tuck your chin in so that you feel that stretch from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. A wonderful stretch. Look 
Okay, so use your hands to gently lift yourself up. Inhale as you come up. And we're going to come round into a comfortable seated position. That can be cross-legged, easy pose, one foot in front of the other, whatever is most comfortable for you. We're going to do um, ocean breathing, ocean breath, which is where you kind of constrict the throat so you can kind of hear it in your in your ears as you breathe in and out. So um, one way they say to, to know how to do it is imagine you're, you've got a mirror and you're, you're fogging the mirror. So you breathe in and then you... And as you do that, you constrict the throat. So basically you're just constricting the throat, keeping the mouth closed though, breathing in and out. So let's give it a try. So close your eyes. Remember, you will hear it in your ears. So close your eyes and inhale, constricting the throat. And exhale, so. One more. Slowly open your eyes and we'll just finish with a lovely cleansing breath. So inhale your hands up, palms together and exhale through the mouth. And namaste. And there we are. So that was our practice today for today, a feel good practice. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're feeling refreshed and joyful. That was the aim. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments and uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.